Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a PvP commentary from Guild Wars 2 Online. Today we're following a thief. We've covered this build before. It was one of our very first episodes. We covered the build in a structures analysis video and this time I'm going to look at it from a commentary perspective on the forest of Niflhel. So um, this build, we made some slight alterations to it. Lowell updated his guide a little bit. I definitely check that guide out if you are planning to play a thief. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, and we basically changed one of the uh, utility skills into counter ops, and counter ops is an absolutely fantastic ability at the moment for the thief uh, in the way it applies the bleeds, and it also uh, works fantastically well with this build um, with its healing setup. So if you want to check out how this build works, check out that video. I'll link it in the description below. So we're up here at the keep, engaging against a uh, guardian one v one. You can see us doing a fantastic job of just tanking his damage very effectively. Um, he's not really going to, be able to take us out at all, um, and we're going to just DD him, and hopefully we can actually bring him down before. Uh, any of his teammates arrive. We actually get some support coming in as well. So good play there from the blue team, bringing some critical mass to the keep just in time. Uh, very close match so far. Uh, the red team seems to be lagging slightly behind. Uh, we're getting trapped there. So good uh, use of the um, binding roots there from the red team to uh, trap entrap us. But we can use our utility skills to move around the map a little bit quicker and get out of a lot of uh, different stuns and immobilizations and stuff like that. We've got a lot of utility to help us survive in that. So these uh, sort of supportive builds and these tanky builds are definitely the way to go for a tournament PvP. Everyone seems to be going these burst cannon kind of builds in the structured PvP, and one is okay in tournament PvP, maybe two. You don't want to go any more than that. Teams where you've got five of these like burst cannon builds are just falling apart at the seams. They just get absolutely wrecked. Um, they just can't keep up the damage enough to bring down these sort of supportive builds fast enough. So coming up here towards the hens, the bread team have managed to neutralise it. Unfortunately, we got trapped before we got up to it. Helping off our elite skill though, which is going to give us enough uh, healing back from our signet to uh, keep us alive, while also dishing out some fairly effective damage to them. We've got to wait for some of our teammates to come on. But we're going to stop them from capping the point, uh, hopefully anyway. We lay down cow drops as well. You can see cow drops are all over the uh, capture point at the moment. This is basically dealing some uh, fairly effective damage to them. This build, you tend to be quite tense at all times. You're uh, often, very often on very low HP, um, just darting around just on the cusp of dying, but they just can't bring you down, which makes it fairly effective at being a distracting kind of build. Because you're playing a thief, people assume you're going to be very squishy and they can finish you off very easily, but uh, actually it's fairly effective at uh, keeping yourself alive. Uh, trying to finish off another player there in the downstate while trying not to be killed by uh, another one of them is not going to go very well. And unfortunately we are brought down. Uh, you can see retaliation was one of the main reasons of our damage coming in. And you can check out our video we released on Monday um, which covers a retaliation build guardian. And also last Friday as well we had a retaliation build guardian uh, which is a very common build at the moment. You want to be checking that out if you don't know too much about it. Uh, coming straight back up onto the Henge, we're going to be able to reverse cap this now. Reverse capping is a very important part in uh, PvP at the moment. Um, if you can keep players distracted and stuff like that, you can basically reverse cap the point. As soon as they've got it, they okay, they get a couple, they get a couple points off of it, but uh, we quickly get back on it and neutralise it, and then it stops them gaining any score. We're staying up here, and you can see there is an encounter going on there. This is where restraint comes in. You don't want to be rushing off. Cap the point, you're going to gain more points from capping that point, and then coming down here, and just hoping your teammate can survive. Uh, luckily that was a Guardian who was down there anyway, so he's able to hold on to that and just keep them busy. And the blue team now from this is set successfully uh, controlling these points and managed to triple cap. You notice there we waited as well for the Chieftain to come back up. This build is not very effective at bringing down the Chieftain, I will say. Uh, I think we actually get pawned by it, I do remember. Um, we're trying to keep ourselves alive using our number 3 skill, but it's not going to happen. Um, so we have to actually fall back and wait for some support to come in. Apparently, we are going to still keep going for it. I, I cannot remember what happens at this part in the uh, in, in this this fight with the boss. Uh, we're taking it away very slowly, but yeah, no, we are brought down. Um, it is on fairly low HP, and you are quite strong in your downstate. It's something to bear in mind. You can actually have quite a bit of damage. I think we were going to be able to bring him down unless anyone from the red team turns up to stop us. Unfortunately, there we go down. That was a rather boring bit of the combat. Um, i got to say, uh, that was a bit of a shame. We did that. The blue team arriving a little bit too late uh, to support us. This is a, just a pug match as well. This is uh, 5v5, but it's just um, random teams that were picked up, so it's not actually a proper encounter. Uh, this is pointless as well. Don't try to revive a down player when they're completely defeated. It's just not going to happen. When they're in the down state, fine. When they're defeated, just leave them. Their rally, their rally button will come back up before you can get them back up. It's just completely pointless to even try to get someone back up on their feet that you're wasting your time and you're wasting their time if they decide to hang about just not to uh, revive on you. 
So uh, sorry about that rather uh, strange engagement against the Chieftain there. Um, this build is definitely not designed against that. For that sort of thing, you need a burst damage build, such as the Great Sword Warrior, which is where they do come in handy in the structure PvP. The mini bosses, the um, trebuchets, stuff like that, absolutely brilliant. General PvP for capping points and stuff like that. These supportive builds are superior at the moment, I would say. Uh, so we're fighting against a warrior at the moment using a frenzy build. We saw him popping it there, and we're just kiting away, waiting for it to fade away, and get back into the fight. He wasn't able to get out of any real damage from it at all. We've picked up um, his axe. We've managed to steal from him as well, so we've got um, an axe ability, which is brilliant with this build, because you can basically tick up a lot of HP from it. So if you want a low HP, you can just trigger it and just stay on target, and you rack it up very quickly. There we go. Using it, triggering it there to keep us up. We're getting hardly getting any damage at all. He's countering us by trying to use the same ability, and it's not really going to help him at all. Um... So you can see we're fighting here against a burst axe build warrior. We're still on full HP and he's got next to nothing left at all. And Blazer just ticking him down. Hits us with Eviscerate there and does next to nothing. Finishing him off. So absolutely fantastic bit of gameplay there. Um, just showing the difference between these burst builds and these more consistent damage builds. Um, if you're building consistently and you're also getting high HP, they are fantastic for that. Also note that we stayed within the capture point while we were finishing them off. Um... If you can angle yourself to do that, definitely the way to do it. I've seen a lot of players running all over to stand directly on top of someone when they could have just stood just inside the capture point and just ticked it away and just got some um, managed to capture it or even just stop the enemy team from capping it. Keeping your feet inside that capture point is such an important role. This area back here is an important thing as well. We're going to cover this in uh, one of our videos. Possibly we might have already covered it. We might do it uh, next week. Um, that area behind there is absolutely brilliant if you want to just hide and keep an eye out and see what's going to go on um, and not risk it. Dangerous engagement. This is going to be a dangerous engagement though. We've got Three players there from the red team. Very bursty professions spiking us down. I think that's actually a thief and two warriors coming at us there. Uh, that's way too much damage for this build to handle. Um, coming way too quickly. Uh, might have been possible if we popped our elite skill. Perhaps it might have ticked up enough HP. But it is uh, a big issue. The elite skill would have been better if perhaps we had someone with a necromancer. Like a minion master necromancer or something like that there. Um, then the elite skill might have ticked up enough HP because you actually get uh, points for every target you hit, not just players, which is a very important thing to bear in mind. That also affects signets that um, do things like trigger on critical. Uh, they actually trigger on things like um, NPCs or turrets and stuff like that as well. So very important to bear that kind of stuff in mind when you're picking your sigils for your weapons. Again, we're going for a rever uh, another reverse cap here, coming back over towards the mine. They've abandoned the point. I think they've gone for the boss. We've got a load of players already at that boss, so there's going to be an engagement there. Restraint, again, staying on the point, capping the point. The blue team are very much in the lead, but it's not over yet. They want to make sure they're securing uh, as many points as they can. They might bring down this boss. They might lose it. You don't know what's going to happen. Uh, and we're definitely not of that much effect in getting that boss at all, so it's definitely better to cap that point and play it safe. Um, scores coming up right towards the end of the match now, and if that boss does go down for the blue team, the blue team will take the victory. They're picking up a quick kill there, so they're definitely within the scoring point uh, in the match now. And just a few seconds left, I think they already did pick up the boss, uh, but yeah, just a few seconds left and the game will be over. So I hope you have enjoyed this match. Uh, like I said before, you can check out our more in-depth guides to this build in some of our previous videos. In any of our videos we've mentioned, you can all check them out on the channel. Um, and they're all labelled and named and stuff like that. We have different shows every uh, three days of the week. Mondays we have strategy analysis where we break down a gameplay from a player, uh, look at their positioning, tactics, stuff like that. On a Wednesday we have tips and tactics where we break down some uh, very singular... A very close up point of a game it might even be just a capture point it could be anything very very specific though um, that's a really game to get into grips with your uh, PvP and Guilds too and just take it to the next level. And on the Fridays we have PvP commentaries just like this one and we're going to have some top teams as well we're going to be commentating for in the future. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you very much.